So welcome back to MJ Golf Guides. My name is Martin Jor and welcome back to Bearhaven Golf Club in County Cork in Ireland. We're on the last three holes, so let's see what's in store for us. Okay, so the seventh hole for the winter is a par four, it's 325 meters. The flag is up on top of this hill here. It's index one. It's actually very similar to the fifth hole. But for the summer tees, it's a totally different hole. You're playing over the sea to land on this plateau here and playing over the sea again to land on the green over here. Anyway, as I mentioned before, I'll be playing the course again during the summer. So you'll be able to see the hole then. For the moment, let's concentrate on the winter hole. I'm not sure about that. I'm hoping that carried the trouble on the left, but we'll see when we get up there. Okay, so I missed the trouble on the left hand side, thankfully. Um, well, this is just a, just a temporary green um, because it's just a temporary hole for the winter months. I have 44 yards in. Just try and hold it anywhere here. Got to kind of hit it in there and just let it bounce down to the hole or somewhere close to the hole. Oh, I don't think that's got there. That hasn't got there. I can see it up on top of the hill. Okay, so you can see where I've left myself. Not a very good place, but that's the danger. I mean, if you land it too far forward, you can kick on over the green. What I'm actually gonna do here is, I'm gonna try and play a little, a little tree wood chip. See if I can just run it on down onto the green and towards the hole somewhere. Go, stop. All right, that's okay, that's not too bad. See little downhill put for par. You know, to be honest, for a temporary green, this isn't half bad. I've seen a lot worse than this. Credit to the club. Oh, I'm making some good saves today, thankfully. Okay, hole number eight. It's 126 meters. It's index 11. And you can just see the green just over there, over the sea. It's a beautiful, beautiful hole. And lovely views again from, from this tee box. So let's see what I'm gonna hit in here. Just measured to the flag and it's uh, 163 yards. I've got a six iron in my hand, but if the wind is against you and it's a strong wind, I mean, you could be playing a tree iron, you could even be taking a head cover off. So at the moment it's blowing from left to right. So let's just see if I can get it over there and keep it dry. I think that's good, that's up there. Okay, so pitch mark here, a few feet from the flag. Happy with that tee shot. Uh, leaves myself a good chance for a birdie. And I'm on the right plateau as well. You can see the green is like two tiers. There's the lower tier and the ridge and the upper tier. So it's always good to be on the right tier. So let's see if we can get back to level power for this one. Hopefully make the birdie. Oh, I just missed a hole. Anyway, let's tap in for the par and move on to the last hole. So as we come to the ninth tee box, let's just take a look out over and admire the beautiful views from this course. Absolutely stunning, really, really is gorgeous. So the ninth hole, the last hole on the course, we're hitting over this inlet of the sea. It's a par tree, it's 134 meters and it's index 10 and it is a great hole. The pin is over here, that's where the green is. So anything right and short is in the water. Anything short full stop is dead. But 
you just got to try and hit over towards the left hand side there's a little bit of a bailout area there so if you're worried about not being long enough just just go for that and take your chance with a chip and a putt okay so just measured it <coughs> with my range finder it's 172 yards to the flag I've got a five iron in my hand I'm just hoping it's enough club uh, wind is in off the left so I'm gonna try and start it out just left and, and let it fade in a little bit that's the plan very easy to see Yeah, it went exactly where I hit it. I don't think it turned in enough to the right, but it's over there around the green somewhere. Okay. okay, as we walk up to the ball, you can see that I'm actually very, very far left. We came from that direction over here. Um, a little bit, but it's, it's a really tough hole. Again, it's a small green. Um, and if the wind is directly into your face from that tee, again, you could be taking a head cover off very, very easily. I've left myself a tough chip here so let's just see how we get on with this so I'm just gonna just gonna try and run a little seven iron up there I have a lot more um, fringe to play with or fair way to play with than I was hoping so let's see if I can get this somewhere close somewhere up there Oh, got a lovely kick. Stop! Yeah, that's not too bad from there. I'm happy with that. Okay, so as we walk up the final green, take the flag out for what is actually going to be a very tough par pull. I'm looking at it now, it's directly down the hill. But I hope you enjoyed the course and I hope you enjoyed this series of vlogs. It's a really beautiful course um, to come down and play if you're ever around this part of the world and you should definitely definitely call in and bring your a-game so let's see if if i can tap in this tricky little tree footer for par in my in my round one over and there it is so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and like i said if you're ever in the area definitely come down and play this course it's a stunning little course one of Ireland's great hidden gems. So thank you for watching. That's Bearhaven Golf Club in County Cork in Ireland. And I'll see you next time for another golf course vlog.